what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you feeling? What's good? What's going on? It's me, Ketsaree. Okay, I gotta tell you this story. I was at work one day. Yes, I was at work. Bartending in the Ville. Anyway, so dude saw me in the window and came inside the bar. He was like, how you doing? I was like, what's up? I was like, you want a drink? I was a bartender. Yes. Anyway, so he says to me, dude, what's up, ma? How you doing? I said, what's going on? So he says to me, oh, what you doing? Hanging out? I was sitting actually on the outside, not on the inside, because there wasn't no customers in yet. It was kind of early for a drink. Anyway, so he had... um. Came up there and everything. He's like, how you doing? He said, you, you know, evidently he thought I was working. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting up there and everything, and I'm like, no. He said, what you doing? You um, you working? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, okay. You made any money yet? I was like, what is that supposed to mean? He's like, you know, made any money. I was like, mm, you're assuming stuff. But I said, I'm not going to say anything. Hmm. I said, no. I said, the dates are really slow. I said, I guess from last night, my knees are like hurting me a little bit from jumping in and out of so many cars. Oh, I said, the police chase was fierce. I said, but I always keep an extra wig underneath the car. So this way, when I roll out one side of the car, I roll out, and I'm black here. Jump in the car again, I roll out. I'm red here, honey. And then I start running and standing next to the She's over there. So he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so he was like, what's your name? I was like, Raven. So then the customer walked inside the bar and had to get up and he said, oh, oh, you work here. So what was that store? You were selling me bullshit. I said, because I already knew what you thought. I said, that's okay, because I get you. So we started talking and everything, and he was really cute and everything. But the thing about it, though, was a little weird because he came inside the bar and stuff like that. He was playing like the first timer, and he was saying to me, um, you know, um, what's going on? But this way he talked. He was like, hey, girl, how you doing? And, and, and. So I'm thinking, okay, we got fishing caught up in here. You know, so I don't know. You know, he's on a fence side. You know, whatever, whatever it is, what it is. You know, I didn't think it was interesting somebody like me. Anyway, I thought he wanted to know the boys would come inside the bar. Anyway, so what happened was, we ended up starting talking and stuff like that. I gave him my number and stuff like that. So when I got, got home at night, you know, I had a little bit of too much to drink. That 151 could be fierce. So I was home at night and I was in my house and I had, I'm a drunk dollar. So when I get drunk, I start calling the boys. <laughs> but I didn't have to call him because he called me and he lives in New York and I'm in Jersey. So what happens when he called me and I was like, hey, what's up? He said, what you doing with my house? I ain't doing that. He's like, I want to come check you out. I said, like, okay. You know, because I had a little liquor in my system. So I was like, okay, fine. Come on over, boo. Baby, I have to tell you like this. If I ever call someone and I've been drinking, do not come. Because I'm going straight to sleep. And when I go to sleep, mother is knocked out. Anyway, so at this point, he's on his way over here from New York City over to New Jersey. Now, he's never been with someone like me. Right. Anyway, so I'm going to play along with this little game you want to play with. Because at this point, I really don't care. So he comes over to my house and everything. And, um, all of a sudden, my phone is ringing. My phone is like, I had like ugh, about 10 missed calls. Because I had to pass down. Because I was almost knocked out. So anyway, I answered the phone. I was like, what's up? He said, my friend is outside waiting for you. I was like, we're a friend. So at this point, the alcoholic is talking to the so sober person, which is both me. So I'm thinking, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? So I woke up to the window. I look out. And there he was. So I was like, oh, my God. Please don't tell me I let this boy go. I said, oh, my God. So I felt bad. So I was like, let me go upstairs. Let me go downstairs to get him. So I put my clothes on right there. and ran downstairs to go get him. And... He walked in, he said, what's up, man? how you doing? I was like, damn, why did you come over? He said, well, I had caught you, said it was okay. Is it a problem? I was like, uh, no, but damn. I was like, okay, come on. So he came on upstairs and everything, we got inside the house, stuff like that. So he's like, I never been with a girl like you. I was always wondered what it was like to be with a girl like you. I saw porn videos and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, we got one of these, one of these big fucking lives. Okay, fine, we're going to play along with this little game. I'm going to be boo-boo the goddamn fool for you. So this way, you could actually, you're going to actually, actually think that you're getting this off, but I'm about to get you off. So anyway, he got inside the bed, and you know what I did? <laughs> I turned him. I turned him out. I made him feel like a real bitch. Anyway, <laughs> and you girls who know, mm -hmm, you know what I mean. Anyway, and also you females, you know what I mean. You turn him the fuck out. So basically, all you dudes, it doesn't matter. I don't discriminate. Hey, get it in. Anyway, so what happened was I turned him out. I don't think I really did, but I did turn him out. But anyway. 
we got to, we got to the next part, and he was like, well, I got to go. I got to go back to um, New York. I was like, oh, this works out even better. Get the fuck out, bitch. <laughs> His fat ass. He was a big boy, honey. So big old, excuse me. He was a big old girl. But anyway, so I'm sitting up there and everything, and I watched him. I was like, all right, boo. He said, well, okay, I'm going to kiss the cabin. So I said, okay, so I, don't worry about me, baby. And I, boo, that's all you got. So I ain't going to worry anyway. Get the fuck out. So he got on out and everything, went on home. And the next thing I know, I'm at work. And I'm, you know, I'm working, I'm bartending, and he walks to the door. And he was like, hi, boo, I had a great time with you. I was like, oh, okay, that's what's up. I said, well, now you didn't, you said you didn't know, now you know. So he was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to be your man. I see you going to be my man. He's like, yeah. Rule number one, big guys, stop, guys make this mistake. If you want a girl like me and you want to want to be my man, you never let me do you first. You do me. I mean, you do me. You flip wigs and you have them. So next wig, the next wig, and the next wig. You have them all coming on at the same time, like you blink, 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 blink. But boo, you sit up there and everything, and I turned you, and I don't want you, because now I feel like I'm gonna have to be the man in our relationship, and I don't think that's a cunt. So anyway, he sat up there. He was like, I said, boo, I can't be with you like that. I said because I did you. He said, well, that's supposed to mean. I'm still a man. I was like, yeah, but I feel like the real man did the job and the woman got served. So he was like, oh, what is that supposed to mean? I said, well, it's kind of self-explanatory, but I'll break it down to you. When we was making love, <laughs> when I was fucking you, basically, you was the bitch. I mean, I had you this position, that position. I mean, I was treating you like a real fucking fushy, fully bladed, bleeding woman that could birth a baby within nine motherfucking months, you freak. And then still, you coming up and somebody be my man, but you was a, you're a cunt. I don't want cunt in my bed. You're a big cunt, too. You like three layers in one. But mother, mother know how, no discrimination against the big girls, honey, because mother knows how to get it in. Anyway, so what happened was, he wants to be my man. So I told him, I said, no, but I don't do it that way because if you was my man. You had to do it to me, and it didn't work out that way. So he says, I feel that certain kind of way. I feel a certain kind of way. I said, what do you mean feel a certain kind of way? Because I'm the angry tranny, honey. Trust and believe. There's not too much you could get past me. So he says, I feel a certain kind of way. I feel like you use me. I said, I use you. He said, yeah. You know, you got me inside your house, and then you, you took advantage. He said, you got me inside of your house, and you took advantage of me, and you did stuff to me. I've never, he said, you don't even know the kind of guy I am, and I don't understand how you sit up there and did the things you did to me, and then you're going to sit up here today and act like you just took what you wanted to get from me and got your squeak off, and then you just left me. So I'm thinking to myself, wow, boo. Could you stand up for a second? So he says, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, you big fat bitch. I said, first of all, you should be glad that I got the litigator goal to bring your fat ass up into my house and put your big ass in my bed and not fucking just do what I did to you. I said, you should be appreciative, you fat bitch. I said, and on top of that, you wasn't even charged for my fucking service. How dare you come over here acting like you did it? I said, honey, you was a cunt. I treated you like a cunt. You got what you got and you got it for free and you got your ass out of here. You gonna come up with me and ask me about it? Are you serious? <laughs> I said, I suggest you get your big ass on up, you chuck it off as a chunk of experience, you got what you got, and my thing is this, when I was back up in that, honey, somebody's been up in there a few times more, honey, that's like a Freddie Cure with a nightmare, you're a mess, you're a woman and I'm a woman, what am I going to be with you, we're going to make love like little Leslie, that's not my thing, that's not what I want, you want to be my man, bitch, please, please. put the W.O. in front of your name, hang, honey, then you can come this way, woman, that's what you are, you're a woman, <laughs> Anyway, so he gathered his things and he left. He was very upset with me. He said, I felt like I really took advantage of his body. <laughs> but I'm sorry. If you come inside of me, you shash in, you keep keying key all over my face, honey. You're trying to give me this story, but I'm not going to buy it because it is what it is. Because you're going to have to do is You're going to catch the rave. <laughs> and some girls are good and bad, and some girls are the fucking best, and some girls are. <laughs> Holla. You already know. Anyway. It is what it is. That's another story of my personal business. Which is, it is what it is. Anyway, catch the wave and don't forget to subscribe on the good things and the bad things of my life. Alright, 
It is what it is. Have, be well. Be blessed. Do you. Do it the best way. And whoever can't take it, didn't fuck them. All right. Don't judge me. <laughs> Bye.